hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel good morning good afternoon good evening to you all on today's news i want to welcome every one of you both my new subscribers and my returning subscribers if you're new to my channel please enable to subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to click on the bell beside it so that whenever i post new videos you will be notified thank you only of ife and queen naomi have started their course their court case again for for the purpose of child custody so it has been um it has uh, come to the notice of um a lot of bloggers and um in the news that queen naomi is keeping their son away from the from the only of ife ever since queen toby welcomed her set of twins that queen naomi doesn't allow only of ife access to her son anymore so the reason maybe because the only of ife has um kids now so she does not want her child to go close to the palace or to the only of ife so coming with um some allegations that has been going around saying that queen naomi is about to get married to another man which caused a lot of problem because um she has neither come out to deny the fact or even come out to say yes i am getting married so it is much as a rumor going around so it was um there was a time they were they were fighting for child custody when the queen took the child away so and then she was right because the boy is a little boy it is um it would be unfair for the only of Ife to take the boy away from the mother because he is a king. He is not an illiterate, he is learned. So he knows that this child needs his mother and the child is will be better with the mother than with him. Because he has not he is a king, he has so many responsibilities, he has to run around for his kingdom, he has people to rule, he has other things to do. He cannot, excuse me, start taking care of a child. So that is what I'm I'm trying to say. So now the queen, Queen Naomi, keeping her son away from, keeping their son away from the father is not really something that um, is ideal. I know that maybe in Nigeria, maybe it's possible because if you have influence in Nigeria, the, they can bend the law for you. Yes, with influence and power, with money, the law will turn upside down for the rich. So it is always the poor that suffers, that don't that, that don't get justice. But if you're rich and you're influential, even if it takes five years, you will get um due justice. I don't think any any courts will give any of Ife custody of their son. But Queen Naomi will if they go to court queen naomi will have to allow the boy to see the father when the father was because they share both custody but because of only of if he has activities to run i don't think the any court will allow him to even have 50 50 um custody of the child because when he's out there doing his uh kingship affair who is going to look after the boy and he's just a toddler we're not talking about a teenager here he's just a toddler so this going to court for child for child custody i feel is because they have money to waste for court case because this thing doesn't even hold any weight queen naomi is wrong so even no matter what um and people that are saying that it's because of um she's not happy she's jealous or something that only of if now has a uh, two new babies it doesn't matter because when he married all the all those women they will definitely get pregnant and they they are, they are they are not firewood if a man is sleeping with a woman the, the result is pregnancy so if he marries those wives that he married at least two or, or three of them will give him a child or children just like um queen naomi said i'm a bit tired but i have to make this news because 
there are some things that I don't really like and I have to just talk about it. So people that are saying that this is out of jealousy, no. Maybe she has her reasons. We don't just conclude that people are jealous because because Queen Naomi and Queen Toby, what are they going to be, to be jealous ab uh, about? She is still married to the owner of Ife. She has the, 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 the upper stay in the palace, even though she's not living in, in the palace. She's the king's first wife and the king has not divorced her. So there's nothing like jealousy or anything. She has a child. She gave birth to the, to the first son of the owner of Ife. If there's something they call her apparent, Queen Naomi's child is the her apparent. That is what I believe. So what is she going to be jealous of? That uh, Queen Toby will come and take her place or something like that. So I think she has a reason for not allowing the owner of Ife to take her son to the palace or something. Because the reason why she left the palace is the reason why she doesn't want her son to go there. That is what I feel. So we all should just talk, be talking with caution. But, but to me, I, I know it is wrong to keep a child away from the, fa from the father. But they have to have another means. The boy is still a toddler. That, that is why I'm saying she has her reasons. But she is, if she is at the same time, she's wrong. But if the child is a teenager, like from um, 13, 14 years, uh, he can go and stay with the, with the, uh, in the palace for one night or something and, and uh, come back to the mom. The child can only make um, choose side only when he clocks 18 years then the child will choose i want to stay with my mom or i want to live with my parents that is when the child has right to determine where to stay because this my, my parents now are not living together so as long as the child is still a baby there's no there's nothing you can do about it the son has the child there the child has to stay with the mom it is everywhere so that is what I'm trying to say, because this court case issue, this court, I don't think it's holding any weight, because even a, a layman, we know what is right and what is wrong. So if you watch my video up to this up, up to this level and you've not subscribed, you're not doing the right thing, guys. I have to bring informations, real news to you guys. This is the, the this is the truth, and we don't only give news here. We also analyze things. If you have anything to add to this video, please come to the comment section, drop your opinion, and see, and um, let us know if keeping a child away from the father is right or or um or not in a polygamous home. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on my next video. Until then, have a, have a blessed week ahead.